Hey, this is Bremster, and this is number 81 in the Sudoku problem series. This is an XV Kropke problem by Virtual. Um, so the way this works, of course, is there will be a link to the problem below, and the goal is to place digits only in the cells marked with Xs. So um, XV and Kropke. So cells separated by an X must sum to 10. Cells separated by a V, there aren't any in this, must sum to 5. And the Kropke on this is the ratio dots, where the cells separated by a black dot must have a 1 to 2 ratio. Um, I've included the full um, Kropke rules in this. So cells separated by a white dot would have to be consecutive, but that's not relevant for this one. But I have included the full rules. A couple of people have questioned that. Um, so I'm not sure how I'm going to go with this one, whether I keep the rule specific, but those are the XV rules. So, because this is an XV crop key problem. So, um, that's the rules for the problem. Give it a try on the link below. I'm going to wait for a few seconds so you can pause the video to give it a shot. Um, and then I'll be back to explain how this one works. Okay, so this one I really quite like because the interaction between XV and the dot is really, really cool. So um, the way I started this one is I looked at this X clue. So any X clue must have a low and a high digit. The only way you can make sum to 10 in two cells is with 1, 9, 2, 8, 3, 7, or 4, 6. But you cannot put a 1 on this because there's a 1 in the row, and you cannot put a 2 on it because there's a 3 in the box. So this is either 3, 7, or 4, 6. And it can't, you can't put a 3 there, but that uh, so um, you can't put a seven there, but that's not really what matters here. What now we want to do is we want to look at this black dot because one of these options is either three must have a three or a six on it. The three seven will use the three and the four six will use the six. So this cannot be a three six dot. If this is a three six dot, what's left here cannot be filled. Um, you cannot make 10 over here anymore. So this must be from one, two, four, eight, but the one is not available. So you're from two, four, eight, which means it must have a four on it. Now there's no two here, not relevant yet, but you must have a four on this, which means this cannot be four, six. So this does become three, seven. And that is a really nice interaction. Now we look at this black dot. Well, this can't be 3, 6, because you can't put a 3 in either of these cells. And it can't have a 2 on it. So it can't be 1, 2, and it can't be 2, 4. So this is a 4, 8. But we know that there's a 4 here. So this is the 8, and this is the 4. That takes 8 out of both of those, and we end up with a 4 and a 2, and that's the solution to this problem. I really like this simple interaction between the X's and the ratio dots. And uh, this is the sort of break in that, um, or the sort of logic that you see in a lot of XV Kropke puzzles, or um, you see in just a lot of Kropke puzzles or XV puzzles that is really, really cool. Um, hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you didn't struggle with it too much. Thanks everyone for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.